We are still on finite groups. So a finite group is a group where G is a finite set. And this is one example of a finite group uh, that uh, I showed to you last time. So the elements of this finite groups are the integers 0 to 6, which are the remainders when you divide an integer by 7. So our binary operation here is addition modulo 7. It is always possible to produce a table for a finite group. Although, of course, sometimes it is convenient to do so and sometimes it is not. It is convenient to do it when your table will fit the page of your paper or if it will fit your screen. So how do we interpret this table? So we begin with the elements in the first column. We pair the elements in the first column with the elements in the first row and then we apply our operation which is addition modulo 7. So for example, what is 5 plus 5 modulo 7? Well, we can look for the result in the table. So 5 plus 5, okay, addition modulo 7. So we go to their intersection and that is 3. So this one is equal to 3. Even without the table, we know it's equal to 3 because when we divide the sum of 5 and 5 by 7, it will give you a remainder of 3. What is, let's say, for example, 6 plus 4 addition modulo 7? Well, we can look at the table for that. So this is 6, this is 4, and this is the result. It's equal to 3. What is the identity element in this group? Well, obviously, it is 0. Because for each element in our G, 0 star A is equal to A star 0. It's equal to A. That is our identity element. What about the inverse? So each element in this group has a unique inverse. And the inverse for 2, for example, look at 2. So the inverse for 2 is 5. And why is that so? Because, because 2 plus 5 addition modulo 7 is 0. So the inverse element for any element is that other element so that when you apply the binary operation on that pair, of elements, the result is the identity element. Okay, so let's say, for example, what is the inverse for 5? Oh, by the way, it's also 2. How about a 3? What is the inverse for 3 under addition modulo 7? It's going to be 4. Because 3 plus 4 addition modulo 7 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is 1 one item in the exam that I gave to my students and I'm showing this to you as an example. Let us see if we can interpret or if you can interpret this table. So this is a table that gives the summary of the action of our binary operation for each pair of elements in G. This is the result of this one. X star Y then star W. So how do you compute that? So what is this equal to? We go to our table. So x star y, you look for their intersection that's equal to z. And then what is z star w? So z star w is equal to z. So our answer here is this one. It's letter B. Okay, so the same table, the same finite group, but this time we are asked to find the result of this one. Y star Y, then we pair it with Y. We apply the operation first on these two elements and we go to our table Y star Y is W. Okay, and then 
W star Y is equal to W star Y is equal to Y. So our answer here is that one. It's letter A. This is the result of x star y, okay, you apply the operation first on x and y, and then star x. So what do you think? What do you think? x star y is z. What is z star w? z star w is equal to z. Our answer is letter A. So that is how you interpret this table. Another one. Again, we are working on the same, the same finite group. This is the identity element in G. So the identity element in G is an element E such that for any element A in G, E star A is equal to A star E is equal to, to A. Identity element. So which do you think is the identity element of this group? Well, it looks like it's W. Okay, look at this. W star W is W. W star X is X. W star Y is Y. W star Z is Z. But you cannot stop there, okay? So you must not stop there. Because this one uh, says our definition of an, of an identity is E star A is equal to A star E, and it's equal to A. So it's like our binary operation is commutative when you are working with the identity element. So we must check. We shall begin with the elements in the first we shall begin with W in the first row, and then we pair it with the elements in our first column, okay? W star W is W, W star X is X, W star Y is Y, W star Z is Z. So this is true. For E is equal to W. So W is our identity element for this finite group. This is the inverse of x in G. So what is that inverse? Okay, let's call that A. Okay, so that when we apply or when we pair x to that element using our binary operation, the result is our identity element, which is W. So you will look for when is x going to be paired with, with W. Okay, so this is our identity element. So, it's Z. Okay, X star Z is equal to W. And W is our identity element. The inverse of X under our binary operation is equal to Z. Our answer here is letter B. Still on the same group, this is the inverse of Y in G. So what is that element A so that when you pair A with Y using our binary operation, the result is the identity element, which in this case is W. Okay, so look for Y okay, and look for the identity element. So look at that. So it turns out that the inverse of Y in this group is equal to itself because from our table, we can see that y star y is equal to w, and w is our identity element. So the answer for this one is letter A.